Ikari.
for leaving you alone. What? What are you saying? Father! Your friends. Keep friends. Those you love close to you. Uh, no. Father! No! Sensei. Son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you all right? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand, but you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuksan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. 
Uh... The man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits? Catch the names? I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san, why? What you gonna do? Ryo-san, where are you going? You're not going after them. Please don't. Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei. They killed my father right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. Hey. Hiya! Are you looking for something? Nothing really. Megumi. Uh, uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? Sure. Okay, then I'll show you. Is this your kitten? Uh-uh. But this kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy. But... Mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Kitty don't look so good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Hmm? Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait, we gotta think of a name for the kitty. Oh, well, 
When I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. Mishima-san. Oh, hello, Dio. That day of the incident, did you see some men dressed in black suits? Black suits? No, I didn't see them. Well, did you happen to notice anything unusual? Oh, nothing worth mentioning. I'm looking for anything at all. Is there anything you remember? I'm sorry, Dio. The weather was awful. So I stayed inside all day. Did you ask Sumia-san? She knows about everything that occurs in this neighborhood. Is that so? Excuse me. Oh, no, no, no. I've been too tired lately. I'm not in the mood to talk now. Sumia-san. Hi, Liu. On the day of the incident, did you see some men in black suits? In black suits? No, I didn't. But I did see a cat, though. You mean a black cat? Yes, it was run over by a car. A kitten was crying nearby. I also saw little Megumi crying with it. I see. Was there anything else unusual about that day? Now that you mention it, Yamakishi-san took a terrible spill at the corner by the park. He was trying to dodge a speeding car. Looked as if he hurt his back. I think it was the same car that hit the cat. It must have been going really fast. So, that's what happened. Um... Oh, hello, Ryo. Kondo-san, the day of the incident. Did you see any men in black suits? The day of the incident? You mean the day it thundered, right? I didn't see them. I see. Did anything unusual happen around here that day? Not that I'm aware of. But you know, Sumia-san knows about everything that goes on around here. It'd be good if you tried asking Sumia-san. I see. Excuse me. Yes? What's this name, plate say? It says Tajima. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see my eyesight is bad, so... Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady.
No, Yuki. Yo! Got a sec? Sure. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, but hey, on that day, did you see any men wearing black suits? Black suits? No, I sure didn't. I see. Any idea who might know about those men in black suits? Hmm... Maybe Sakuragaoka Gossip Gaggle might know something. You know how they're always yakking over near the payphone. Try asking them. Good idea. I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. This is it. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. Perhaps they're out? Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you now. How is your back? Yes, it's much better. But how did you know? I heard from someone in the neighborhood that you almost got ran over by a car. Well, it must have been Megumi or Sumiya-san who told you. That driver was insane. Could you tell me about what happened with that car? Sure. This black car came flying around the corner over by Sakuragaoka Park and went towards uh, Dubuita. A black car? Did you see the license plate number? Maybe if there hadn't been any snow. And to make matters worse, I fell over. So I never had the chance. Oh, well I'm glad to hear you're okay. Got a minute? Huh? Get out of my space, schoolboy! Excuse me. Huh? Who the hell you think you are? Akasaka-san. Hi, Leo. That day, did you see a black car? A black car? I hear it came from Sakuragaoka and drove through Dobuita at full speed. Hmm, I had no idea. I see. Rio, why don't you try asking people on the shopping street? Maybe someone saw it down there. Yeah?
Nozomi. Ryo, have things settled down for you any? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. Did you happen to see a black car that day? A black car? Yeah, it wasn't the kind of car usually seen around here. You know, a car like that splashed mud on me when it sped past. Really? Yeah. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. Right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Ajiji? Yes. I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Excuse me. Hi. What can I get you? Gominasan, I need to find some people from China around here. Who is the best person to ask? Ah, well, you know that restaurant that does fabulous roasted pork? You mean Ajiichi? Yes, that's the one. Why don't you ask the owner? Good idea. Well, see you. Tao-san, 
Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that, but the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Manpukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Itoi-san, do you know about the Three Blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the Three Blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. Liu-san? That's right, over at the barbers. I see. But Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Jianmen. Is that so? Thank you. See you.
Excuse me. Help yourself to a glass of water. No. I have something to ask you. What is it? Where is the Yu Barber and Hair Salon? Liu? Let's see. Judging by the name, I'd assume the owner was a Chinese person. But since I don't know them, I really can't say. I see. Yu-san. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. I'll try there. Are you Tiyu-san? Yes, I am. And you? 
My name is Dio Hazuki from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah, I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Aji Ichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel, or perhaps even the Chinese mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. Tom. Hi, Dio. Do you know any place where sailors hang out? Sailors? Yeah, I do. They hang out at bars. They always start street fights when they're drunk, you know. I can't stand them, man. Which bar do they hang out at? I don't know. I'm broke. I can't afford to drink. Oh well. Later. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know any place where sailors might hang out around here? Sailors? There should be a lot of them in the bars around here at night. Bars. Thank you. Um... What is it, kid? I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fighting with me? I've got a question for you. Who are you kidding? Kiss off, twit! Um... Welcome. Um... I'm looking for a place where sailors hang out. Do they come here? Sailors? No. They don't come here. But more importantly, you do have time to come in, right? No, I'm in a hurry. Um... Yeah? Do you want... No thanks. I'd better go. Mm. Excuse me. I can't serve you alcohol, but uh, have a seat. Thanks. How about a cola? Sure. So, what's up? Saijo-san. Do you know any places where sailors like to hang out around here? 
You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Right. Try the MJQ Jazz Bar or Heartbeats Bar. Is that where they go? But you best be careful. I hear they run with a dangerous crowd. Any guys with tattoos on their arms? You'll probably find guys like that there. That's all right. Hi, Ryo. Akemi-san. I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you fuck? Excuse me? Excuse, I just can't ask me later. Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know any place where sailors- Sailors? There should be a lot of them in the bars. Thank you. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! <laughs> Are those guys sailors? Maybe. I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And he's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk. Now get out. Son. Hey, Rio. Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka son at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you.
you're still so tiny. Luo-san, you're home. Oh, hi, ine -san. I was worried because it was getting late. Don't worry. I'll always be home by 11 o'clock. I do not wish to nag you, but... Yes, I understand. Fuxan, do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? No, don't know him. Who is he? I think he's somehow connected with those men in the black suits. The black suits? He has a tattoo on his arm too. What? Really? Do you know anything else about it? No, I don't. I see. Gotta get to bed. I will get them, father. Dear Ryo, those who follow the path of a warrior must be ready to die in order to stand by their convictions, live for one's convictions, die for one's convictions. That is how I lived my life. Ryo, it is up to you to discover your path and follow it through.
gotta get to bed. I have to be sure not to waste this. Duo-san, are you going out? Yeah. You were late returning home last night. Yes, a little. I would appreciate it if you could come home by 11. Okay, I understand. Careful when playing in the road. Okay. Wait up, Yasuo. Wait for me. What's wrong? I'm so thirsty. I want a drink, but I don't have any change. I'll buy you one. What do you want? You're really nice. Thanks. What kind of drink do you recommend? Hmm. Let's see. Here. Thanks a lot. You've made my day. Is the restaurant busy? Ah, uh, a little. You should come by again and try Tao San's special. Yes, please give my regards to Tao San. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you. Okay, I've got to go. Got things to do. Okay, see you. Thanks again. Excuse me. Hey! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah, 
You know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. Yamagashi-san. Oh, Ryo. What are you doing here? I was having a drink with your father. With my father? Well, you may not believe it, but I've been training in Kobujutsu for many years. I used to spar with your father. After our workouts, we always drank sake together. By the way, have you ever learned this move? Huh? Watch. Yamagashi-san, what move is that? It's an ancient technique that I once taught to Iwao. To my father. Martial arts masters often exchange techniques. Just as your father and I did. We were very good friends. It must be fate that you came here. I want to teach you this move. How about it? Please teach me. Well, there's no time like the present. I'll teach you right here, right now. It's a move from Kobujutsu called Double Blow. I'll show you the footwork first, so watch carefully. Take one step forward and build up your energy, then strike with your arms and legs at the same time. This is the double blow. Now you try. First, quickly shift your weight forward. Good. That's the way. Then as you move forward, you extend your arms and legs as you strike with your palms. Now, try it again. You're doing too many moves. Well, excellent. You have managed to learn it rather quickly, I see. Thank you. The double blow was developed during the 16th century. It's a very powerful technique and if done properly, the blow can be felt even through armor. Do you want to practice some more to make sure you've mastered it? No, I think I've got it. I see. Really? All right. Perhaps you'll be fine. Keep at it and good luck. Yes. Thank you very much. Someday... I'd like us to drink sake together. Me too. I look forward to that day.
Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. <laughs> I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on, I'll take you to meet him. <laughs> we got ya! Come on, tough guy, show us what you got! So, do you know Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! You've got to believe me! Ono-san. Hey, Ryo! Do you know of any tattoo parlors around here? Tat? Oh, right, tattoos. I heard there was a shop like that around here. Really? Do you know where it is? No idea. Oh, I know some of the bikers who come here sometimes have tattoos on their arms. Why don't you ask them? Where can I find them? I see them a lot in the arcade. The arcade? Thanks. Sorry, man. We're closed. A guy named Charlie gets his tattoos here, right? Never heard of him. That's funny. He's been bragging about your work. I want to ask him something in person. That's so. Hey, man. Why don't you lose the jacket? What? 
Easy, man. I just figured you've got perfect skin for my work. Nice color. No sag. I would love to get the chance to work on someone fresh for a change. I'm sick and tired of those cheap, greasy punks. No, I'm not into tattoos. I want to know about Charlie. Hey, let me work on you, man. I won't charge you nothing. Come on. I said no. Oh, man. Too bad. You know Charlie, don't you? Come on back tomorrow. Is he coming in tomorrow? He might come. Look, I'm closed. Get out. Inesan is always there for me. Practicing the move name Pitblow. Uh, for my first three years here, Sensei had me practice only the basics. One must know the fundamentals to reveal the essence. As my father used to say. Yes, but... But Sensei is no longer here to teach me. He's gone. And I still have so many bad habits. Say, Ryo-san! Would you mind showing me the right way to do it? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll go first. Take a look at my form and let me know what's wrong. As I take one step forward, I tense my arm, then strike. Out! Oh. Fuxa. Uh, I'm okay. Your real son, can you show me how to do it right? Sure, but I'm not as good as father was. That looks good. The next part's important. Shift in one continuous motion. As you step forward, strike. But I'm not as good as father was. That was great! 
Your technique is so much better than mine. Completely different from mine. My father and I trained for a long time. Sensei always told me that this was the most important basic technique. So, would you like to practice some more? No, that's enough. Really? Well, if you ever feel like sparring, just ask. I'll be here. Thanks, Fukusan. Are you gonna buy this little deal? I'll take this one. Megumi. Hi, Adele. Yo, I named the kitty. Her name is Mimi. It's cute, isn't it? Uh-huh. It's a real cute name. You hungry? Here. I think she likes this food. It must taste good. I'll bring more again soon. Great! Thank you, Dio. Give 
Give me something tough, so no one will mess with me. Yeah, <laughs> like that schoolboy. Shut up! He kicked your butt too. That schoolboy. Huh? Hey, it's him! Uh, uh, oh, I'm no. out of here! Have you come for a tattoo? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. to know about the cartel. I don't know! Why do you want to know? That's none of your business. Just tell me! Okay, let me go! I'll tell you! I'll arrange for you to meet some of them, okay? You didn't need to rip my arm off. Okay, so when? Tomorrow at three. Wait at the arcade. I have your word? Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't show. Father, I promise to avenge you. Your son. Let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. All right. Let's go. What's that move? When did you learn that move? That's the Fuku-san I know. How's that? Whoa, whoa! That was a good one. Oh! How about this? It's been a while since we practiced together. I feel much better now. Have you found something? I've got a lead on the Chinese cartel. Are they the same ones who... You killed Hazuki Sensei? I don't know yet. You're not thinking of going after them alone, are you? You go up against those killers? It's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. Don't worry about me. 
No. Real son, is that why you started training? <sighs> oh, please. I'm begging you, please think it over. My mind is made up. I must go. <clears throat> Real son. Inesa, you overheard? Please don't pursue this, Dio-san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki-sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Dio-san. Please wait. There's something I must give to you. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki-sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should... keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. But why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. And because I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please, make a promise to me. Inesa. Please, I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, dear son. Ine-san is always there for me. Ryo-san, what were you talking about with Ine-san? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it... From the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese! Hi, Megumi. Hi, Adyo. Hey, Adyo, you know what? Mimi can understand me when I talk to her. Whenever I call her, she answers me. Really? Uh-huh, I swear. Right, Mimi? I told you. Wow, that's amazing. Want some food? I think she likes this food. It must taste good. I'll bring more again soon. Great! Thank you, Dio.
What's wrong? A man with sunglasses took my soccer ball. He said he'd give it back if I brought you to him. What? Where is he? At the construction site. You. I knew you couldn't resist, boy. What? Remember the tattoo parlor? Payback time. Here, catch. Go home. What? What? Are you Chinese? Yes, my name's Xiao Gong. What's your name? Ryo, Ryo Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. Yeah. Shei Shei Ryo Zhang. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. Do you know anybody who can read Chinese? Chinese? You know, that reminds me. I learned a bit when I was in the army. Well, I was ordered to learn it. So can you read it? No, no. That was so long ago. I've forgotten it all by now. You'd be better off asking the owner of Ajiichi. Yeah? Nozomi. Ryo, take care of yourself. Sure.
I go in? Come on, let's play. Next time, okay? I'm kind of busy now. By the way, Go Wen, you're Chinese, aren't you? Yup. I'm looking for somebody who can read a letter written in Chinese. My grandmother can. Your grandmother? About your grandmother? Her name is Sha Shouli. She's real nice. Where is she? At the shop. Shop? Which shop? She sells dishes and stuff. Um, it's called Roshia. You mean Loxia China Shop, right? Right. It has a white door. I'll go see her. Thanks. May I help you? Excuse me, are you Xiaosun? Yes, that's right. And you are? I'm Ryo Hazuki. Ah, uh, Hazuki-san? Oh yes, my grandson. Go and told me. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You helped him at Sakura Gaoka. Oh, I remember. He was so excited when he told me. He now aspires to grow strong and brave, just like you. It was nothing, really. <laughs> so, what brings you here? Well, I have a letter I'd like you to translate. Okay, reversed kanji. Reversed? Yes, but they aren't just reverse left to right. They're written in a special style. Could you read it for me? Yes, of course. Beware of those who pursue the mirror. If you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. Ju Yuan Da Zhu Yongda. Master Chen? Oh, there's something written on the back, too. Tian Ji Fu, Jiao Tao Long, Ti Ji Mu, Wo Da Yo. What does it mean? Father's Heaven, Nine Dragons. Mother's Earth, comrades. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. I understand. But I think this part may be a phone number. These ancient characters are numbers. A phone number? Yes. 04686156767. Six one five six four, right? I've got it. Thank you very much.
Hello? Mother's Earth. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Warehouse number eight? You. Who are you? Isn't this the Chen residence? Oops. That's warehouse number eight. Sixty-one. Got it. Sixty-one. It's an Amihama. Excuse me. Yes? Which way is Amihama? Amihama? That's the harbor. Harbor? I haven't gone there in a while, but... If you turn right onto the main street, there's a bus. Just who are you? Don't you know that blackmail is way uncool? Thinks you stuff, eh? Eh, new Hazuki from Suka High. <laughs> Hazuki? Yeah. So what? I ain't afraid of him. I can take this geek. Dorosan! Hey! Hey, you! Wait! Damn! Oh, you've had it now! Ouch! Ooh. Oh, pretty tough after all. What? What? I have a question. What is it? Warehouse number eight? Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Down the street, there's a new warehouse district. Turn right, and number eight should be there. So it's straight, and to the right. That's it. Well, uh, time for us to go.
Excuse me. Yes? What is it? Wait a minute. Hey, you're not authorized. Get out now. I wonder if there's another way in. I'll need to boost myself up there. There must be some information here. I hear voices. Is someone there? When you look at this invoice, the address is wrong. So it is. I've asked them a million times to get it right. Yeah, it says right here, Old Warehouse District. What are they thinking? Can you call over to the old warehouse number eight? Okay, got it. So there's another warehouse number eight. I'll need to find the old warehouse district. Sakasa. We all. I need to get to the old warehouse district, but... The old warehouse district? It's just up the street. Great. Thank you very much. Can't get in without authorization. Get out now! Gotta wait till tonight. Close. 
Okay, now's my chance. Huh? There's some writing. Warehouse number six. No, not here. Security guards. I can't let them catch me. Yes, this is warehouse number eight. Excuse me. Uh, Chen San? It won't open. What's this? Ah! Uh. Who's there? <sighs> Wait, Guizang. Chin. Master Chen? You are the young man who has called? Yes, Ryo Hazuki. This says, if you ever need help, seek the aid of Master Chen. May I look at the letter? Sure. Yes, this is Zhu's handwriting. But it appears this letter arrived too late. Yes. This Zhu Yonda, how does he know my father? Zhu and your father brought back a certain mirror from China. The mirror? The one that man stole. It was stolen? Yes. The man who killed my father, Lan Di. Lan Di. Do you know him? Well, I know of him. An organization called Qi Yo Men. Its leader goes by that name. I hear he's a master of a deadly martial art. Yes. He used a style I've never seen. I think we mean the same person. 
What does this mean? Please tell me why my father... You needn't tell this boy anything, father. Father? No, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Yuan Da regarding this boy's father. But... but... Was only one mirror stolen? Huh? I'm asking if only one mirror was stolen. Yes, made of stone, a dragon design. If so, then there's one more. I believe the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix? A mythical bird of Chinese legend that guards human life. That mirror? My house? Perhaps. Find it, and then we'll talk. Yes, when I do, I'll return. From now on, telephone beforehand. And remember the password. Um, Ine-san? Yes, what is it? Well, about that day, have you remembered anything? No, and I do not want to think about it. I get chills thinking about it even now. Oh. By the way, Fukuhara-san was looking for you. Huh? Fukuhara-san is? Huh, what's this key for? A key? But to what? This may come in handy.
Where's the Phoenix Mirror? Today's allowance. I'm sorry. I told Ine-san. What did you tell her? I told her what you're doing. I told her everything I know. You what? I just couldn't help myself. And Ine-san needed to know. Fuxa. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Fuxa, do you know anything about the Phoenix Mirror? The Phoenix Mirror? My father may have had it. No, I've never heard him say anything about a mirror. Really? Ine-san might know something about it, though. Okay, let's go ask her. Ah, Ine-san. Fuk-san talks very loud, doesn't he? Huh? I just heard the two of you talking. We were talking? Yes, I'm sorry. It was rude of me to eavesdrop. Oh, it's okay. No, it wasn't. But then, who could tell the son of Iwao Hazuki to stay out of trouble? I hate to say it, but... I feel like I'm letting your father down. I... I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Ryo-san, I don't know if this will help or not. But there was one thing I recall. It wasn't that long ago when... Azuki sensei went to an antique shop to have something stored for him. My father did what? I don't know what it was, but he said it was very important. Antique shop.
You hungry? Here. You can eat it all. I'll bring more again. Excuse me. Oh. That's a delightful sound, don't you agree? It was made especially for that butterfly woman. You know Madam Butterfly, don't you? You... Your Hazuki Sensei's... Oh my, that was a terrible thing. Your father... Ah, I was holding something at Sensei's request. Hmm, just where did I put it, huh? Oh yes, it was very important, so I put it here. He'd asked me to polish and look after it for him. For my father? It's given to the Hazuki heirs once they turn 18. I gather this antique has been passed down from generation to generation. Father. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Hazuki Sensei was always there for me when I needed him. Was there anything else that he asked you to hold for him? Anything else? Like a mirror, called the Phoenix Mirror. A Phoenix Mirror? Hmm... Sorry, I don't know of any mirror. Well, that's okay. Thank you very much. No way! You're working with Landy? If I was... Why, you... Yeah! <laughs> 
If I continue, then I'll fail as your bodyguard. A bodyguard? Father told me to guard you. What? Calm down. If you don't live, it'll be a problem for us. What you mean? You still don't realize your role, do you? If Lan Di gets that mirror, no one can stop him. Hurry and find that mirror before they suspect anything. <laughs> Landy Sama, the Phoenix Mirror? Uh, yes? This was at the antique shop for me. Let's see. It's a sword handguard. Yeah. It was my father's. It's a part of my inheritance. I see. Have you seen this before? Like this design? It might be a family crest. Have you asked Inesan? No, not yet. Well, you should ask her. You're right. I think she's in the altar room. Thanks. This was at the antique shop. A sword handguard. Inesan, do you know anything about this? The snow ring, the two stars, and a sword. That's the Hazuki family crest. And that mirror you're looking for, I wonder if there's a connection. Maybe your father left us a clue. Snow ring, two stars, one sword. Thanks. Thank you. 
Yeah, it opened. This sword, it has... unusual about this. There's nothing unusual about this. Why is that here? What's this slot for? Chinese. That shape, why is that here? was a switch. I wonder where this leads. I can use the light if I put a bulb in. There's nothing else in here. Now I just need to flip the switch. What's it doing here?
It's a paperweight. Zodiac signs? These are also Chinese. What's this leaf doing here? That's strange. It's not even dry. I can still use it. It's beautiful. I wonder who used it. I can still use it. Hachiri-san? Some kind of medicine? It looks pretty old. Maybe my father used it. It's our family crest, a sake cup. Does this have something to do with my family? Even a starving eagle never steals. Like my father always said, never cheat even during a struggle. I wonder if there are any clues here. Gotta find a candle. There's nothing else in here. It says, all good deeds shall be rewarded. Did my father write it? These are all dried out. What strange paper? It doesn't look Japanese at all. Where did father get this? What strange paper? It doesn't look Japanese at all. Where did father get this? It's father when he was young, but who's that with him? I can still use it.
I can still use it. It's an axe. What's it doing here? It's beautiful, but why is it here? It's brighter now. Something's inside. It says, good luck. Some kind of amulet? What an unusual shape. It's probably not from Japan. Elixir of Eternal Youth. I remember my father telling me about it being used by martial arts experts in China. Where did father get this? The Stab Armor? It looks like the name of a move. I've never seen a weapon like this. These scratches must be from the shells.
Huh? That wall. The color's slightly different. Can I break the wall with this axe? Suzuki family crest. This box. Got it. It's the Phoenix Mirror. Son, you found the mirror? So that's the Phoenix mirror? It's kinda creepy, eh? I feel like it's pulling me in. Ryo, Ryo san stop it, please! You think it could be cursed? No, I don't think it's cursed. Uh huh? I have a feeling about it, but I can't explain. Hey, see what I mean? That's dangerous! Are you possessed? Folks, uh, get real, would you? What? I'm serious! Enough. Give me some time alone, okay? Uh, sure. I should take this mirror to Master Chen. Dragons. Mother's Earth. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are. My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah, I found the mirror. I'll tell my father. Come to warehouse number eight. Sure. I need to go to warehouse number eight. I have an appointment with Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Look at the time. I really should go home early today. Phoenix Mirror. Yes, it's made of Phantom River Stone. Why did Landy only steal the Dragon Mirror? He probably didn't realize your father had both of them. 
two mirrors. A long time ago, Chu Yuan Da once told me, when the dragon and the phoenix meet, the gates of heaven and earth will open, and Chi Yu will resurrect itself on earth. Chi Yu? It's a legendary Chinese monster that will devour this world of ours. It appears Lan Di will try to make use of both mirrors. What will he try? That even I don't know, but you mustn't allow him to get that mirror. Be careful and stay alert. If he finds that mirror, it will be the end of you. Huh? What the? Hey! Two mirrors! Landy Sama will be pleased! Gui Cheng! Oh! Hazuki! Push that button! With this, I can join the Chi Yu Min! Thanks. Is it the work of the Mad Angels? Mad Angels? We always have trouble with that gang. Those are dirty bastards. That thing was probably connected to the Chi Yo Men. The Chi Yo Men? Yes, the Chi Yo Men and Mad Angels are linked. Perhaps they are the ones who guided Lan Di here. So, if I find the Mad Angels, I'll find Lan Di. Nah, he's likely not here anymore. Then where did he go? Well, maybe he has already gone to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? I have a request. Request? What is it? Please help me get to Hong Kong. If so, then what? I'll find Lan Di. And then? And then, he'll kill you. He's too strong. What did you say? Stop it. I must avenge my father's murder. Huh. How admirable. But you don't stand a chance. Well, if it was you... Suppose your father was murdered, what would you do? Please, help me. I'm sorry, but I can't. Let's go, Gui Zhang. Master Chen, please wait! You should not waste your life on revenge. So, the Chi Yo men? And Landi? Seems he left for Hong Kong. Hong Kong?
Uh, guess Hong Kong's out. Fuxa, you know of any cheap travel agencies? Yeah, there's one in Dabuita, but... Dabuita, hmm. Why you wanna know? I'm thinking of going to Hong Kong. Huh? Hong Kong? Yeah, it appears that Landy went there. But wh what will you tell Ines-san? I'll persuade her. Not alone you won't. I'll help you. Ine-san, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? I know it's sudden, but I'm thinking of going on a trip. A trip? Yes. <laughs> Good. You could use a vacation. Oh, yeah. Where are you thinking of going? Hong Kong! Hong Kong? Fuxa! It seems the man who killed Hazuki Sensei is there. Inesan, please give him the money for the trip. Idiot. What are you planning to do, Ryo-san? Oh, nothing. Nothing? This is crazy. I can't let you do this. Well, he has to get there somehow, Inesan. I'm not listening. Inesan. End of discussion. Uh. Uh, huh? Thanks a lot. What? What did I do? You didn't have to tell her everything. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do this by myself. Sign is always there for me.
be right there. Excuse me. Wait a minute. I want to finish this. Um, excuse me. Didn't I just tell you to wait a minute? I want to go to Hong Kong. The pamphlets are over there. Find one, decide. A hundred and seventy thousand yen. Any others? Jeez, what a pain in the... I'm looking for a cheap fare. Uh, here it is. This is the cheapest we got. A hundred and fifty-eight thousand yen? Is there anything cheaper? No, that's it. Okay, thanks. Hold it, bud. I went and got it out. So at least take it with you. I should go home and think it over. The Hong Kong Fair. Pretty expensive, eh? Just a moment. Yo, son. What's that? This here is my savings. I want you to have it. Book, son. Well, I... I really want to help you out. It's not much, but... Don't hesitate. Smash it open. Are you sure? Yeah. There should be a lot, but... Mm, well, one, two, three... Uh, one. Thirty-nine thousand six hundred thirty-four yen. Ah, oh, that's still not enough. Yeah, right. Ah, I got an idea. Ida Florist. Ida Florist? Nozomi's place? Yeah, she travels overseas a lot. Maybe she'll have a better idea. Good idea. I'll go ask her. Okay. Nozomi. Ryo, what is it? When you go to Canada, do you always fly? Yeah, usually. Why do you want to know? I'm looking for a cheap way to travel overseas. You're going overseas? Yeah. You know, I can only afford about 70,000 yen. 70,000? To where? I'm trying to go to Hong Kong. For a trip to Hong Kong? I doubt that's possible. But I only need to get there. Oh, well then, how about going by boat? By boat? Whenever Grandma goes to Canada with us, we gotta travel by boat. Really? Why? Yeah, cause she hates airplanes. Oh, but that's a secret, okay? Yeah. You might be able to find a boat ticket for a fairly cheap price. Yeah, maybe. Thanks.
Ah, please come in. I have a question. Sure, what is it? How much would a boat fare be to Hong Kong? I am sorry, but we don't sell any boat tickets here. Do you know of a travel agency that does? It's urgent. I must get to Hong Kong. I know, but... Please, if you know, tell me. Well, okay. Go out of here and make a right. You'll find Asia Travel Company. But from what I've heard, it's not very good. Okay, take a right, Asia Travel Company. I'll try it. Thank you very much. Be right there. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. What is it? Do you sell boat tickets to Hong Kong here? Boat tickets? Yeah, we do. How much are they? Boat, boat... Uh, here it is. I'll take it. The sooner the better. You gotta pay up before I can arrange it. All right. Thank you. Excuse me. What? I'll take care of it. The ticket. Come back in three or four hours. All right. I'll be back in three or four hours then. Excuse me. Oh, Ryo. Is this a good time? What's on your mind? I want to show you something. What is it? Uh, this. What an unusual stone mirror. Apparently, it is called the Phoenix Mirror. I see. There is a phoenix carved into it. Is there anything special about this mirror? Hmm. Well, the phoenix is a sacred bird of legend. But uh, this has an ominous feel. Ominous? In China, there are many treasures that contain both good and bad fortune. This is called the secret of yin and yang. The secret of yin and yang? You'd best be careful. This may have something to do with your father's unfortunate death. I don't know if this information helps, but that's all I can tell you. I see. Thank you very much.
Have you heard of Asia Travel Company? Yeah, it's right over there. But between you and me, they have a bad reputation. What have you heard? You know the manager of the jeans shop, don't you? Akasaka-san. Yep, that's him. I hear he had a major bad experience. See, he went to the States to get some rare special edition jeans. But the hotel sucked big time, and their tickets booking was irresponsible. I heard the entire trip was awful. I see. Akasaka-san. Hi, Ryo. Ever heard of Asia Travel Company? Yeah. They've got cheap tickets, but you don't want to go there. To tell the truth, I got conned by them once. Why? See, I used them for a trip to go to buy some rare limited edition jeans. We arrived in New Orleans all right, but no hotel room was reserved for me and my transfer ticket was invalid. That's terrible. Don't use Asia Travel Company, no matter what. Help you? Yeah, Ryo Hazuki, I'm here for my ticket. Huh? What are you talking about? My Hong Kong ticket I've already paid. Paid who? The woman who... Woman? Don't know no woman. What? What kind of scam is this? We don't take kindly to accusations like that. You best learn some manners. Hey you, you'd better watch your mouth. Ah! I've had enough of this. I've already paid my money. Ah, I understand. Allow me to sort this out. You'd better or else. Yes, sir. I'll call you first thing tomorrow. Phew. Nozomi. Ryo, take care of yourself. Sure. Hey, Megumi. Dio, Mimi's disappeared. Has she... She was already gone when I came. Will she come back? Okay, I'll go find her and you wait here, Megumi. Thanks so much, Dio.
Hmm. I can hear her mewing. It must be from down there. Well, there you are. Oh, there. Nozomi. Real wait, were you looking for her too? Yeah. She's here, Megumi. Oh, really? Mimi, Mimi, where have you been? I was worried. Great, huh? Yep. Thanks a lot, Nozomi. No, not me. Ryo found her. Thanks a lot, Ryo. No problem. Well, I gotta go meet my friend. See ya. Yeah. Here. Eat it. It's tasty. Look, Ryo. She must like it. Yeah. She'll recover faster if she eats. You're right. Thanks, Ryo. Fuxan, Fuxan, Nozomi's son brought some flowers by today. Nozomi brought flowers? Yeah. Did you order them? No. Where are they? In the altar room. I see. Nozomi-san was nice enough to bring those flowers. Nozomi brought these? She even remembered what your father's favorite flowers were. Really? She's such a nice girl. Father, I'm going to Hong Kong.
Hello? Hello, it's Ryo Hazuki. Oh yes, what is it? Um, is Nozomi there? No, she hasn't come home yet. I see. Should I have her call you when she gets home? No, thank you. All right, if you're sure. Yes, sorry to bother you. Don't mention it. Hello? Hazuki Dojo? Huh? Asia Travel Company? Okay, just a moment. Huh? Hello? It's Jimmy from Asia Travel. I've got your ticket. I'd like for you to come and pick it up. Please come to the U Arcade on Dobuita at noon. Ryosa, what was that phone call about? The ticket to Hong Kong. Oh, I see. I'm going out. Oh, okay. You hungry? Here. She's eating! She must have been very hungry. Yeah, and she looks real happy. Thank you, Dio. Yamagashi-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. Have you been doing all right? I'm fine. Hello. Oh, Hazuki-san. 
Thanks for your help the other day. But can I ask for your help with one more thing? What is it? It's about this mirror. Can you tell me anything about it? Let me see it. This is a very unusual mirror. It's called the Phoenix Mirror. Phoenix. In China, the Phoenix is the legendary bird of fortune. It's a guardian for the Sky Lord. Guardian? The other guardian is the dragon. A dragon? In China, people consider the North Star to be the Lord of the Sky. Look there. That is an old Chinese map in stone, see? It's a map of the Big Dipper from the Han Dynasty. On a moonless night. Should you pray to the stars, your wishes shall be realized. The Big Dipper revolves around the immovable North Star. In China, the North Star is highly respected. For ages and ages, people have worshipped it. In China, there are numerous fascinating legends about the stars. I see. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Excuse me. Oh, Hazuki Sensei's boy. I could really use your expertise again. Of course, provided it's something I am familiar with. Is it about the sword handguard from the other day? No, it's about this. Hmm, may I take a look? What a marvelous stone phoenix mirror. Stone mirrors were produced in China during ancient times. This is an exceptional piece. Is there anything unusual about this one? Indeed there is. I think perhaps this type of precious stone is only found in the Guilin region. Precious stone? According to a book I once read long ago, an emperor ordered a sculptor from Guilin to engrave a guardian onto a stone mirror. Guardian? The phoenix on this mirror is a guardian. Is there any connection between the phoenix and the stone from Guilin? Well, I really can't speculate, but... Considering the legend associated with this mirror, undoubtedly there is a connection. I see. Well then... Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome.
Do you work for Landy? Me? Work for Landy Sama? <laughs> That's my dream. What do you want with me? You know about Julian Da. Tell me all you know. Landy Sama hates Julian Da. So I'll be rewarded for this information. <laughs> So you know about Landy. Just who the hell is he? <laughs> I'll only tell you if you prove stronger than me. Jimmy's one of them. Jimmy. Excuse me. Oh, not now. Now's not a good... I'm not in the mood. Who the hell is it? Hey. 
What's your problem? Damn! Stop! Oh, what? Ah! Hey, you! Hey, stop! Damn! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, wait! What the? Get out of my way! Whoa! I'm sorry! Forgive me! Give me my ticket! I don't have it anymore! Cut the crap! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! An employee ran off with the money! Please don't hurt me! I got a wife and kids! That's your problem. I still don't have the ticket I paid for! Here! Take this ticket to the Philippines. I don't need this. I'm planning to skip town tonight. See, I'm broke, bankrupt, cleaned out. I can't get no ticket anywhere. Quit lying. <laughs> Who's that skinhead? I don't know for sure, but I think he's connected to the Mad Angels. Mad Angels? <laughs> Where are they? I can't tell. They'll kill me. Tell me! The... the harbor... Who's their boss? I... I don't know, but they extort from the harbor workers. If you weren't there, you'd meet them. Why is that? Because they always harass the new guys. The harbor. Ryo! Nozomi. What happened? Hmm? Something's happened, hasn't it? No. A fight? No, it's not that. Please, you gotta stay out of trouble. I'm fine. Ryo, but what if something happened to you? Don't worry. Promise me you'll take care. Yeah, see you later. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Do you know a place around here where I can get a job? A job? As a security guard or in cargo transport? Either one's fine. Well, 
Why don't you visit the offices? The offices? There are security offices and trading offices. All right. I'll try going there. Excuse me. Huh? Is your company looking for workers by any chance? Jobs? Why don't you ask the site foreman? So, where should I go? Probably somewhere around warehouse number 12 at about noon. If not, sorry man. <laughs> gotcha. Um, yes? I want to get a job at the harbor. Who should I talk to? Hmm, the supervisor says that we don't need anyone. Try somewhere else, will you? Okay. Um, sorry, but I'm working now. Can't chat with you, kid. Don't need my supervisor bitching at me. Sure. job here. What should I do? So want to be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man. Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, whoa, wait, hold up. I'll be man. I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo. Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Ooh, well, mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow, in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. Twelve noon, warehouse number one, in front of the big blue door. Right on, bro. See ya. You a job, man? Really? Thanks. But you know, I had to go through quite a lot of hassle for you, though, bro. What you say? That'd be the job I found. Shut your lip, woman. Hello, Mai. Hi, Edyo. Hey. You two know each other. Airhead here asked me to find it for you. I'm always delivering lunch to Harbor Dorm, so I asked the foreman I know for you. Batting her little eyes like, oh, pretty please, Mr. Foreman, huh? Ow! So, where should I go? Be at the Alpha Trading Office by 2 p.m. Just ask for Yara-san. You have an appointment. 
2 p.m. Yadasan, Alpha Trading Office. Thanks a lot. See ya! Excuse me. What do you want? Are you Yara-san? Yeah, that's me. Mai-san at the lunch stand mentioned me? Oh, yes. Mai from the lunch stand. Yes, she did. Can you start right away? Yes. You, uh... Ever drive a forklift? No, sir. Uh, well... Break something, it'll be deducted. Yes. Hey, Mark! Come here a sec! Okay, boss. Okay, Mark will take it from here. I see. Mark! Show him how to drive the forklift. Okay, boss. Hello, I'm Ryo Hazuki. Hey, man, I'm Mark. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Driving the forklift, it's easy. You'll get the hang of it real quick. Oh, okay. All aboard. Okay, you ready? Let's start your lesson. First turn the wheel either left or right. Good, that's it. Next, press the accelerator. Okay, good. Now back up. Different from accelerating. Yeah, that's it. Finally try raising and lowering the lift. Okay, not too bad. Now, you try moving that crate. Take that crate to warehouse number three, just there. First slide the fork under the crate. Then lift the crate and go. Easy, ain't it? Okay, now it's your turn. Place the crate within the grid marking the floor of the warehouse. Okay, for the rest of the day, you'll be training, all right? Take the rest of the crates to warehouse number three. Okay. I gotta get back to work, so finish the rest yourself. No problem.
finished for the day. Oh, good work. Thank you. You're getting used to the forklift. I suppose so. About your wage. You start at 300 yen per crate. There's a quota every day, so don't go slacking off. Yes, sir. If you do good enough and meet quota, I'll give you a raise. I understand. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Yo. Mark. I need you to come tomorrow at 9 a.m., okay? Yeah, sure. There's something we gotta do before work. Before work? Really? Yeah, man. You'll see when you get here. Oh, and don't be late. Okay. Do you have a minute? What? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? Oh, them? Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying jerks. I sometimes see them dumping these large sacks into the sea. It scares away the fish, you know? I see. Um... What is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ah... Uh, those thugs, huh? Do you know about them? They fight and mug people. Heard a rumor that they deal drugs, too. Maybe that punk who tried to mug me was one of the mad angels. Uh, maybe. Thanks. Excuse me. Huh? Do you know anything about the mad angels? Uh, I know who you mean. Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying jerks. They're dumping their garbage into the sea. It scares away the fish, you know? I see. Um... Yes? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Those harbor thugs, right? Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying. I sometimes it scares me. I see. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? Is that a baseball team? No. Surely you're not talking about a gang. Um, about the Mad... You can take this as one woman's opinion if you want to, but... If you have energy to burn, try some... The fact is, my son... <sighs> no. Forget it. I'm sorry. Ma'am? Anyway, don't get mixed up in something you shouldn't. Um, do you know anything about the Mad Angels? What? I heard they're a gang that controls all the harbor workers. Never heard of them. I see. Um, excuse me? We've never heard of them. Yeah, terribly sorry.
Um. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know a group called the Mad Angels? Oh no! They are very dangerous, man. Rio, don't get mixed up with them. Do you know anything else? They ride motorcycles around and attack people. Lots of homeless at the harbor get attacked and beaten by them. That's vicious, huh? Real crazy mothers. Really? Um... Huh? What is it? I'd like to ask you about the Mad Angels. Why you want to know about them? Do you know anything about them? I know that you aren't supposed to say that name around here. It's taboo. If you get involved with them, you'll get hurt for sure. Do you know anything else? They're a pretty big gang. Nobody in the harbor messes with them. I hear there are a number of foreign sailors in that gang. It's safer just to avoid them. I'm out of here, Mark. Hey, good work. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh huh. Can you make right? like a goody-goody little shit. All right, then. We'll just play you. What? How about you race us? Motorcycle? A chicken race. You do know what that is, right? Okay, I'll play your little game. But if I win, you leave him alone. You give the signal. Start when this can hits the ground. Here we go! Take that! That's not fair! I'm just playing with you! Hey, you! You jerk! I won! Damn! We won't forget this, boy!
I just know Ine-san is worried. I should go home. Morning. My new job starts today. From today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota is written on the map. Read it carefully. If you exceed quota, you'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? Lunchtime, eh? Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh! Oh, really? I don't know! Oh! Hey, oh. quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! Remember this. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the mad angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the mad angels. Thank you. 
Hello? Mother's Earth. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Come if you must. Hey, you! Excuse me, uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Mind if I ask you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A Chinese martial arts scroll. The stab armor is a palm blow that utilizes the body's power. Take one step forward and two steps back, and then tense your limbs. The resulting impact is capable of penetrating armor. Powerful enough to fell a fierce tiger in one hit. It's a different style from mine, so it's not clear. But if you remember what I read while practicing, perhaps you could master it. Really? I have work to do. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Back to work. Was it number 18? boy. <laughs> you working hard, eh? <laughs> what? You ain't paid your insurance. That ain't right. Law of the Harbor dictates all rookies gotta pay insurance. You know what I'm saying? What insurance? I said pay up, boy. Right now. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea! 
You don't pay up, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. No way. You are gonna regret that decision. Let's get him! Damn it! All right, you guys. No! Hey, wait! Finished for the day. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 350 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. You said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man! From the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak! This here harbor, Goro knows it all! So you know about the Mad Angels? Uh, I... Speaking of taking a leak... Not so fast. Oh, man! Must have had me a bad ache this morning! Gotta hit the can, my man! Oh, hope I can make it in time! Oh! So you know about them. Bro, that name! Please don't say it so loud! Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man! It's taboo around here! There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking! No way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. Like that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the Mad Angels, much less take on Landy. Shut up! Look, I don't need your help. Hey, fine by me. But it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, what'll it be? You are mine or not? Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick! This is called a swallow dive. Now you try it. Execute only initial form first, no other movements. That's good enough. Now, while backing up, kick. Try it.
pretty good about what's expected the first time. I've got it now. But your technique is still off. Now I'll teach you how to utilize the swallow dive. The moment you drop back, you invite your enemy in. And that's when you counterattack? That's right. I'll demonstrate it thoroughly. Well, you want to practice more? Yeah, please, I'll watch, so give it a try. I think that's enough. Still want to continue? No, that's enough. Keep in mind, you've only learned the basic form. To properly utilize this move, you'll need to practice. Yes. And apply diligent training. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Let's not talk about them. Stay away from them, Dill. Alright. Uh, about the Mad Angels? Why is it you're always asking about them? Are they messing with you? Huh? Nah, never mind. But, Mark... They're very dangerous. Stay away from them. Uh, uh, stop it. <laughs> Been waiting for you. It's you. What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Teach you something useful. Suppose I show you rather than tell you. Let's see you try and punch me. Me? Punch you? Quit your babbling and punch! You call that a punch? That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? 
If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Okay then, here we go. Why am I missing? <laughs> this was a real fight. I had just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the Shadow Step. Shadow Step. So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Yes, please teach me. First off, show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. All right. Hmm, that ain't too bad. Now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. Move your weight forward one step only. Something like that. As you step forward, get ready to dodge and throw. Now your turn. Hmm, right nice. You're a quick study. Thank you very much. Got that touch you do. How about a bit more practice? Okay, sure, why not? Well, I'ma watch ya. Go on and show me. Alright. Hmm, that enough for ya? Wanna keep going? No. I think I'm alright. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go for getting to practice every day. Perhaps we'll meet again. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki name's known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Quite popular in spite of being so young he was. My father? If you knew that move, why not use it that day? Mm. No sense in fighting. Sometimes... Uh... A clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> Ever need practice in the day, try warehouse number four. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Be sure and practice daily. <laughs> I should go home.
It's time for work. Let's get cracking. I'm ready. Today, you got to take this cargo to warehouse number three. Here's the map. Don't forget the quota. No problem. Okay, good luck. Time, eh? Mark. Hey, Dio. Yeah. How you liking work? It's okay, I suppose. Well, I expect a lot from you, Dio. Right. I'll do my best. Uh... Dio, you got any brothers or sisters? No. I don't really have a family anymore. Oh, um, sorry to hear that. Uh... See you later, Dio. Yeah. Hitoshi. Hi. Ryo, isn't it? Yes. I heard you helped out Mark yesterday. It was nothing. There's many mean-ass thugs in the harbor. It feels good to know there's someone like you around. No, I'm not that strong. About those thugs? Most people around the harbor are on the tough side, but most ain't a bad bunch at all. Is that so? Takeuchi-san. Yo, you ate already? Yeah. Alpha Trading's free lunch deal is a pretty good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Takeuchi-san, why do you work at the harbor? 
Well, you see, the company I worked for went out of business. Really? My kids are still real little, so I have to support them. That's a tough break. Kondo-san, what's up? When did you start this job? Not so long ago. It's harder than I thought, so I don't know how long it'll last. I see. Hey, Tiyoshi. Hey, Ryo. How's work? Ah, uh, it's okay. Yeah, I know what you mean, but at least we've got the race to look forward to. You're right. Hisakusa. Well. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Mad? What? What is it? If you don't know, I'll be on my way. Yeah. It looks like I can practice here. I should work on my moves. I'll lose my edge if I don't practice. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? I'd like to ask you about the Mad Angels. What for you want to know about them? Well... You get mixed up with them and you're just asking for trouble. Do you know anything about them? That gang's done growing in recent years, you see. They're in league with some big Chinese cartel. Looking to take over Yokosuka. A Chinese cartel? They call the shots around this here harbor. They don't take kindly to interference by others, so watch yourself. Know anything else about that gang? I know you do well not to get yourself involved with them. 
What would your family do if something happened to you? But I... You get mixed up with them and you're just asking for trouble. That's all I got to say about it. I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Ryo? You in trouble with them? Nope. I'm just trying to find out about them. No, man! Do not go and get mixed up with them! They're killers! Afternoon shift starts at two. Don't be late, man. Yeah. Back to work. Warehouse number three. Okay. What the hell are you doing here? Children shouldn't play around with forklifts. You might get hurt, you know. Ha! Move it. You hurt us, you're fired. Ha! Nice taxi you got here. Take me on home, okay? Get a move on. Whatever. on you, schoolboy! That's it. You're mine. It's showtime! Oh, man. 
Help me! Where are the mad angels? Those guys are at the back of warehouse number 17. Number 17? Yeah, at the back of the warehouse. You lying? If you don't believe me, go see for yourself. <coughs> Good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 400 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Isakusa. Ryo. Where is warehouse number 17? That way, on the far side of the harbor. Mai goes over there all the time. Thank you very much. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. No problem. Oh, careful. So, looking for your brother. Yeah, my only brother. He's about your age. But now, he's probably at the bottom of the sea. Killed by the mad angels. Why would the mad angels kill your brother? It appears he may have leaked some important information. Is that why they... Probably. At least as far as I could tell, only one person was killed. So you're not sure? 
Was the guy who heard the information killed? Or my brother, the one who leaked it? Oh yeah, Dill. I heard the information was about a black market deal with some Chinese cartel. A Chinese cartel? The GU men. Excuse me, do you have time? I'm on patrol now. Can you ask me later? I see. Um... Yes? Have you ever seen any of the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? I've never seen them. I hear that they hang out near the entrance of the harbor. All right. Excuse me. I'm afraid you are disrupting. Stay back. All right. Mark, have you seen any of the Mad Angels? No, sure haven't. All right. Hey, mister. Oh, it's you, youngin. You been training? Yeah. That's great. Now then, I can show you how to use it. Use it? The shadow step move? It's rather hard to do, so I'll only do it once, so pay attention. Before, I just showed you how to slide behind your opponent. Once you're behind your opponent, strike the back of the neck. An unprotected neck's weaker than you'd expect. An accurate strike can paralyze. Strike just after sliding past your opponent. If you practice, you'll get it. I understand. Thank you. Excuse me. Eh? 
Do you happen to know where the Mad Angels hang out? Why are you looking? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right, already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Have you ever seen the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? I don't- No, it's not like that. Um, about the location of the Mad Angels? I don't know any other place. I see. Uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. As far as I know, Master Chen is not expecting you. I'm afraid I can't let you in. Excuse me? Yes? Have you ever seen the Mad Angels? Ah, those scumbags? Do you know anything about them? Sure, that they're real annoying. You know those more on top of shouting something. I really... Okay. Goro. Yo, bro! Have you seen any of the mad angels around? Whoa, bro! Like I said, don't... S you know, right? Tell me. Ah, bro! Well, I ain't got no choice, I guess. Motorcycles. They ride around the harbor at night. At night, huh?
Excuse me. Huh? Have you seen the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? I've never seen them. I've heard that they hang out at warehouse number 17 at night. All right. I should go home. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. yeah. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. On your mark, almost time to go. Ready, go. Pretty damn good for a rookie. Here's your first place prize. Thanks.
Hope you work as well as you race. I'm ready. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. Today's quote is written on the map. No problem. Okay, get to it then. Time, eh? No, that's okay. Don't be shy. Stand there. Here we go. Both of you get in closer. Smile. That's it. Here goes. Which do you want? Yo? Oh, this one. Okay, this one's yours, and this one's Nozomi's. They're keepsakes. What's with her? I... I'm going to Canada. What? I took a while to decide, but... Hey, if it's what you've decided, it's what you've decided. Ryo, don't do anything stupid. Of course I won't. I'll always treasure this. Ryo, take care of yours too. I will. I'll come back when I'm on vacation. Sure. Bye then, Ryo. Nozomi.
It's already this late? Was it number 18? Good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 450 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Excuse me. What is it? Have you ever seen any members of the Mad Angels? The Mad... I don't know any... Is that so? Thank you very much. Have you seen any of the Mad Angels? No, sure haven't. All right. Hisakusa. We are. Excuse me. Eh? What is it, youngin? Do you happen to know where the Mad Angels hang out? Why are you looking for them? I hear you've been getting yourself in all sorts of trouble. I really need to know where they are. If you know, please tell me. All right already. Come back here at night. Here? They always gather around here at night. At night? I understand. Thank you. Don't go doing nothing reckless, you hear? Long time no see. This is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this straight off now. <laughs> Long time no see. This is the guy who's been sniffing around us like a dog? Looks like we're gonna have to run this stray off now.
so bad, punk. Why, you... But your time's up. You wish! No one takes on the mad angels in this harbor and lives to tell about it. It's the bottom of the sea for you. Get him! your face. and Chi uh, Ming connected. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. What? W wait! I don't know if he's Chi Yuman, but there's some Chinese big shot leaving here soon. Uh, big shot? Yeah, they had me arrange a cruiser to take him out to a big ship offshore. What's his name? Uh, I don't know, but I hear he wears some silk robe thing with a dragon on it. Landi, he's still around here. Please, I beg you, don't tell anyone I told you. They'll kill me! Um, do you have time? I'm in a rush to get somewhere. Can you ask me... What's up? On patrol, brother! Patrol! Seeing if those nasty bad thugs making trouble in harbor are around! You seem especially happy. <laughs> Speak for yourself! How's work coming? I'm managing. Hang in there, bro! Sure, thanks. Excuse me. Eh? About the Mad Angel. I heard a rumor that you're still- Yes, I am. I heard that they are planning some deal. Do you know about it? The deal? Hmm. I did hear something about some large-scale deal happening soon. Have you heard anything else? Well, I don't know none of the details. All right.
nine dragons. Mother's Earth. Comrades. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must. I should go home. Excuse me, uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. you something? What is it? Could you translate this for me? A scroll, and it's in Chinese. Oh, fierce tiger, thou art ruler of the forest, the bravest of character. As tranquil as the most majestic of mountains, as swift as a bolt of lightning, as violent as an earthquake, jolting the great earth. Show no mercy. With twin fangs strike and rush up Moon Mountain. Striking fear in all, nary a soul challenge thee. It's a secret poetry. Secret? To maintain secrecy, the technique is written in poetry form. Only one who's received the master's verbal instruction can understand its meaning. Why did my father have it? No idea, but I'd assume if he had the scroll, then he received instruction from the original master. My father? I'd hold on to this. Perhaps someday you will meet the master who wrote this. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Son will be worried. I should go home soon. Gotta get going. Gotcha. Take this cargo to warehouse number 18. Here's the map. The quote is written on it. No problem. This one's a bit further, so don't get lost.
lunchtime, eh? Mark. Hey, Dill. What's up? Hey, man. You got a girl? Huh? Uh, I don't really have time for stuff like that. Well, you at least got your eye on someone, right? Mark, I'm... Dill, I don't know what you plan on getting out of life, but I'll tell you, it sure is a great thing to have yourself a woman. Mark. Mark. You should go on a date once in a while. I know what you're getting at, but... I wouldn't want someone important to me to get involved in my problems. Dill, you're a... Tom. Hi, Dill. I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Do you know anything about some deal they're making? No, man. The Mad Angels are very dangerous. I need to find out about them, no matter what. Does it have something to do with your father? Sure. If you know anything about that deal they're making, tell me. Sorry, I have no idea. I swear, man. I see. Hisakusa. Will. Do you know about a deal going down with the Mad Angels? Deal? What deal? Don't go getting yourself mixed up in any strange dealings. No, I'm not. Really? If you say so, just don't get involved in anything dangerous. Yeah. About the deal. Sorry, I don't know anything about it. But Ryo, be careful. What? It just sounds so dangerous. Don't worry, I'm okay. Goro. What's grooving? What's up? On patrol, seeing if the you seem as I'm hanging. Sure. Th Hello? Mother's Earth. Comrades. Father's Heaven. Nine Dragons. Warehouse number eight. Master Chen, please. Excuse me, but you are... My name is Hazuki. Just a moment. What is it? Yeah. I must consult Master Chen. Arrange us a meeting. Father's not around. Well, could you meet me? I need to talk. Hmm. Tell me if you must.
Hey, wait! Excuse me, uh, I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. I've been expecting you, sir. Please, go on in. Kuizan, Hazuki, when's that deal with the Mad Angels going down? What? Tell me, when is it going to happen? That's something I can't tell you. Kuizan! Get lost. Go home. Kuizan, when's the deal going down? Enough! This has nothing to do with you. Kuizan, when's the- Enough or just leave the harbor, now! Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Uh, nothing really. If you wish to leave, please proceed to the front gate. I need to meet Master Chen. What's your name? Dio Hazuki. As far as I know, Master Chen is... I'm afraid I can't... Back to work. Warehouse number 18. Okay. again. What's your problem? Let it be you. Hey, boy! Oh, no! Hey, no escape, boy! You're gonna pay for beating up Goro. You his girlfriend? What did you say? Best watch your back. Next time it won't be just you. What? We're gonna go after your family and friends. Gonna get them. That's it. Oh. Finished 
for the day. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get a 50 yen raise. That'll be 500 yen per crate. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. Hey, Dio. I overheard some information. Information? I heard them all whispering something about Long Jia. That is soon. Long Jia? Best I can figure, it's some mad angel's black market deal. Makes sense. They've been on edge lately. Long Jia. When's it supposed to happen? Mark. Dio, I got some big news. Huh? I overheard Tony and Smith saying that a long Ja is going down soon. Really? When's it gonna happen? Maybe within the next few days. I see. Be careful, Dio. Yeah, you too, eh? No problem. I'm cool, but I'm worried about you, Dio. The date of the long Ja, someone must know. Yeah, but finding out ain't gonna be easy. To them, it's like a really big deal, you know? Maybe the only option is to ask them directly. Well, maybe, but Dio... Believe me, I know, but I'm prepared to take the risk. Dio... Hey, mister. Oh, youngin, it's you. I heard about you. Here you're after the mad angels. Yes. I know you want revenge, but... If something happened to you, how about the Hazuki tradition? But I... No buts, boy. If no one were left to carry on... Oh, what a shame that'd be. I will show you another move. Hmm? What's that move? It's called the cross charge. Just at the moment you evade, slam into your opponent's side. When used up against multiple opponents, they can all gang up on you, you know. This move is perfect for times like that. Thank you very much. Um, yes. Can I help you? Do you know about a deal the Mad Angels are making? A deal? I had no idea. My boss made it clear I'm not supposed to get involved with them. Is that so? Got a minute? They sure look good. Got a minute? Yeah? Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> I almost took a sip.
I should look around a bit more. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I gotta hurry up! Hey! Okay! Something I need to ask you. Can it wait? Got something to do now! Oh yeah? Later then. Sorry! Have a minute? What is it? Have you heard someone talking about the Longja around the harbor? Longja? What's that? I heard some of the Mad Angels guys talking about something like that. Beats me. Well, lately I have seen them. Something about some Hazuki guy. I see. Um, what is it? I want to ask you about the Mad Angels. Ah, oh, those thugs. Come to think of it, lately, I've been hearing them whispering among themselves all the time. Is that so? Do you have a minute? What? Have you heard someone talking about the Longja around the harbor? Longja? What's that? I heard some of the Mad Angels guys talking about something like that. Maybe it's a code name or something. Well, lately I have seen them. Something about some Hazuki guy. Okay. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know what Long Jia means? Long Jia? I heard some of the mad ink. Maybe it's a well, late something about. Okay. I've got plenty of time to ask around. Um, you need directions? Well, no, sorry. Excuse me? What is it? I'm going home. I didn't catch a thing today. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Ma'am? What is it? Are you hungry or something? Don't worry about money. You can eat without paying sometimes. No, it's not that.
Excuse me. What? What? You know, it's really not a good time to talk now. Try again later. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry, try me later. Um. Ugh. Fishing is the only thing I like talking about. I don't talk about. Eddie? What? Um... Hey, about Nozomi. She still seems upset. Whenever I try to ask her, she starts crying. Do you know anything, Nyo? I don't know. Come on.
Gotcha. Today you gotta move cargo between warehouses. Gotcha. First take a crate from here over to warehouse number eight and unload it there. Then take a crate from warehouse number eight to warehouse number 18. You know where that is, right? I take this to warehouse number eight. Then I take number eight cargo to warehouse number 18. Yep, but careful you don't get mixed up. The quote is written on the map. I got it. Lunchtime, eh? I'm gonna settle down and go straight. Gets me a real job, work hard and marry her. Marry? But she's too young. Don't you know, Ryo? Girls can get married from 16. But to Goro? Well, Goro, he's not so bright, but he's got a heart of gold. Yeah, but Goro... <laughs> well, bro, be seeing you around. See ya. It's already this late? First take the cargo to warehouse number 8, then go to warehouse number 18. It's them. Got a question. You know about the long jaw? What? What did you say? You know. I don't know. Hey. Hey, wait. Get rid of him! Idiot! You Sorry. crazy! Hey, Pedro! You need help? the long jaw I I don't know I'll break your arm but I don't know I swear only the boss of the mad angels knows who is the boss it's T Terry Terry please don't tell anyone that I told you 
but it'll send me to the bottom of the sea. Oh. Where is he? I don't know. It's the truth. Terry's real careful. <laughs> Got your pay. Here. Thank you. No, oh, wait. Yes? Someone came to see you earlier. Really? Yes, a young man in a suit. He asked me to give this to you. Thanks. Hmm? The mad angels are after you. Beware. Guizan. Ah, the long jaw. Maybe Master Chin knows about it. Hazuki. Master Chin, is Landy coming for the Long Jaw? Why do you know about Long Jaw? I got it out of the Mad Angels. So, is Landy coming? Landy has nothing to do with the Long Jaw. Only the lowest Chiyo men members are involved. But Terry and his gang have arranged transport for Landy to a ship. He's acting as a guide for Landi, so as to ingratiate himself with the Chi Yo men. Terry and his gang already know about you. And that you're trying to stop the Long Jaw. The items we deal in are expensive. Paintings, calligraphy, antiques, gems. Terry's gang deals in contraband. The next big shipment is drugs. If they get established, our market will be destroyed. If our trade route is disturbed, it will cause trouble for us in China. So, now you see. Go home before you get hurt. I can't do that. Someone as young as you should not be involved. Tell me when the long jaw is. I cannot tell you, but if you can be patient and listen to my counsel, no harm will come to you. Father! As written in the letter to his father, I'm bound by my promise to Ju Yuenda. I will hear no more of this today. Very well. I'll back off for now. Your father would not have wanted you to throw your life away so senselessly. I should go out and get some fresh air. Were you just with Nozomi-san? No. Something happened to her? Well, Aida-san just phoned. And it seems Nozomi-san hasn't come home. What? Nozomi-san said she was meeting you. Aida-san said she can't reach Nozomi-san. Hello? It's Ryo. Terry's waiting. Who is this? Here, yeah, meet us behind warehouse number 17. Don't, Ryo! It's a trap! Nozomi! If you don't show, I'll make her cry. <laughs> don't you dare touch her! I'll give you four hours, or else! Behind warehouse number 17. <laughs> Ine-san, I gotta go. Duo-san.
If I don't leave Dobuita by three, I'll never make it. Just a moment. Hey, Ryo. What's up? I need a favor. Oh, sure. Come on in. Can't. I'm in a hurry. Can I use your motorcycle? My motorcycle? Sure. Cash. Thanks. Don't drive too fast. I won't. Later. <laughs> Looks like we got a rat, eh? What? The king of the harbor don't like rats. Like a sewer rat, always sniffing around. Think we'd just let you pass?
<laughs> you made it, huh, boy? Where's Nozomi? What's your hurry? Have some fun with us! I got you now. Enough. Aw, oh, Terry, let me have some fun. I haven't had enough fun yet. Hey. You play with him. Uh, that's okay. I'm cool. Oh, no, Ryo! Nozomi. Are you all right? Yes, I'm sorry, I... It's okay, it's all my fault. Yeah, it's all your fault. So you're Terry. <laughs> you're the tough little schoolboy, huh? Here you messed up some of my boys pretty good. If I let you go, schoolboy, it sets a bad example. <laughs> You're the one trying to get information about the long jaw. You're either real brave, or you're real stupid. I'm taking Nozomi home. Sure, you can. But... It's gonna cost you. What? My deal is, you gotta beat up Jin's son. Make it so he can't walk. Kuizong? Ah, uh, so you know him, huh? Why him? He's in my way. Your way? As long as Chen's around, we won't be able to gain total control of the Hong Kong route. Is it a deal? All right. Rio, don't! But one more condition. Oh, yeah? It ain't enough to get the girl back. You take me to Land D. <laughs> this kid's got a death wish! He's got some screws loose! <laughs> what do you say? I know you're the one that guided Landy. Well, there's more to school, boy, than meets the eye. You take me to Landy, then it's a deal. Phew. Fine by me, but only after you take out Guiza. Don't forget! Hey, I ain't no street punk. When Terry of Yakoska speaks, he means what he says. I'm taking her home. Fine. Let's go. Thanks for saving me. Hmm. But I won't let this go.
しさを今抱いてほしい。Tom, hey, Ryo, working hard at the harbor today, hey? Yeah. What's wrong? You seem kind of blue. No, I'm all right. Okay. Tell you what, you come on by later and let me treat you to lunch, okay? Young man, have a seat. Sure. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to resign. Am I fired? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Why? Uh, you see, there's been a mess of trouble since you started. Now, I know it ain't all your fault, but, well... And? When trouble starts affecting my company, that's a problem. You know what I mean. Yes, I understand. Thank you for everything. Mm. Sakasa. What is it? Are you busy? Yes, a little. Oh, yo. By the way. What? Have you spoken to Tom lately? To Tom? No, I haven't. Really? Well, then, I guess it's okay. I'll be on my way. Wait, yo. You're not going to let me finish? What's happened with Tom? Well, recently he just seems really depressed. I'm a bit worried that something's happened to him. 
But I guess he's okay, if he hasn't said anything to you. Yeah. Sorry for bringing it up. It's okay. So, how is business? Today's been about average, I'd suppose. I see. See you later. Bye. today. Hey, Rio, look! Hmm. Tom, what was that leg move? A friend taught me this. It's a tornado kick. You want me to teach you. Yeah, teach me. Okay, it's your lucky day. First, the music. First, I'll teach you the steps. You watch carefully, okay? Step forward, step again, then kick, okay? Very simple, okay? First, try the steps. You take two steps toward me, okay? Okay, ma, nice steps. Next, after the second step, kick. Now, Rio, you try it, okay? Okay, very good. Pretty good for the first time. But that's just like you, Rio. Thanks, Tom. No, no, no. This is how it's done, okay? Mm -hmm. Two steps forward, then. First and kick. second kick. This is the real tornado kick. Now, Rio, you try it, okay? The second kick was way too slow, okay? You got the rhythm now! Thanks, Tom. The tornado kick is very powerful, okay? This kick is perfect for when you're surrounded by multiple opponents. Do you want to practice longer? No, that's okay. Okay! You mastered the leg move great. You're a good teacher, Tom. Thanks. What's wrong? I got something I need to tell you, Ryo. Tell me what? Tomorrow, I go back to America. What? All of a sudden? Not suddenly. I've been planning to for a while. Tom. Ryo, why are you going on your trip? Uh, I... I bet it has something to do with your father. Yeah. I thought so. Me? I'm going back to my home. And you'll be leaving soon too. Nobody can stop you. Tom. Even though we part ways, 
you'll still be one of my best friends. You're mine too. Today is the last day for Tom's hot dogs. Get them while you can. Yeah, I'll have one. My friend. I'm here. You sure got guts coming here. This way, follow me. Wait here. Is Guizong coming here? He passes through here, on his way home from work. Hmm. Here he comes. I'm out of here. Hazuki, why are you here? Guizan, I want to fight you. What? What are you talking about? Ready? What? Pretend to lose. Say what? Terry will take me to land D. You dressed a punk like Terry? You'd be better off losing. Lose to you? Go down before you get hurt. What? By a kick like that? Huh, <laughs> you call that a kick? Huh! <laughs> You're serious. You aren't? You're on! Bring it on! <sighs> All right, Hazuki. Well, come on! You know, you're not too bad. Uh, nor you. It's my lucky day. I'll get rid of both of you at one time. 
just as I suspected. Hey, can you move? Uh, let's settle our dispute later. You're on. That's low, Terry. I will make you pay. <laughs> you like me that much? Let me invite you to hell. Wait! <sighs> Is trouble your middle name? Save your complaints for later. Fine. Watch yourself. You too. You're pretty good! All tuckered out, are we? Watch yourself! first. Focus! Thank <laughs> you. 
kill you! Azuki, stand back. This one is mine. Just who the hell you think you're dealing with? Yeah. I'll take this. Gotta learn to fight fair. I just can't give up. But how can I? I'll talk to my father. Hmm? I'll ask my father to help you out. Really? Contact me later, okay? Guizan. What? Thank you. No, that's my line.
Hyo-san! Hmm? Here, it's for you. From Ine-san, and it's not much, but from me. Oh. Fuxa. Take care, and come back in one piece. Your foolishness knows no bounds, eh? Thank you for arranging my trip to Hong Kong. Thanks to you, the long jaw was thwarted. It was the least I could do. Thank you very much. You're too reckless. It worries me, so... I'm going with you. What do you mean? I cannot allow you to go alone. Besides, we also need to know what Lan Di is doing. That's the gist of it.
the diving swallow style should be useful on your journey. What? A style from the Hebei province in use since the Song Dynasty. I will teach you its most sacred move, the swallow flip. Hui Shang. Yes. You utilize your opponent's attack to flip them. First, I will explain the basic form. Watch closely. You take one step backwards to parry the opponent's attack. Then focus power in your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Immediately kick their legs out and flip. In actual combat, you'd strike here. The throw alone won't incapacitate your opponent. First, try to execute the proper form. Shift your weight while taking one step back. So, you've acquired the form. Next, as you drop, use your arms to throw your opponent off balance. Well then, give it a try. I was correct in my judgment of you. You have superb talent. But to truly master the swallow flip, you must be able to anticipate your opponent's attack. Guizhang, spar! What? Practice is required to master the attack quickly. You must attack him in earnest. I will. Begin. <sighs> it seems you've learned the attack. Yes. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? Yes, please. Very well. Gui Zhang. Yes. What is wrong? You cannot learn it that way. It seems you've learned the attack. Yes. This technique works best when you can anticipate your opponent's attack. Do you wish to practice further to master the timing of the attack? No, thank you. I think I can manage now. Very well. Then there is nothing more that I can do. I am in your debt. You're going? Yes. Look out! Quisan! Behind you! not going to Hong Kong because the Great Chai will defeat you!
What are you doing here? Where's Landy? Oh, the Landy Sama is sailing the sea on a ship bound for Hong Kong. So, Landy's already left for Hong Kong. my son. At the moment, I don't know where Ju Yuenda is. Instead, I will introduce you to someone I know can be trusted. Tao Li Shou, one of Hong Kong's elder masters. The address is in there. Thank you very much. Nozomi. Oh, Ryo! I scared you? No, just spooked. You know, it's kind of funny. Funny? See, I was just making a wish for you. And you suddenly appeared. A wish for me? 
You are going to Hong Kong, aren't you? How did you know? I finally made Fukusan tell me. You've been so preoccupied lately. Is that so? I won't stop you. I know you well enough to know I can't. Here, take this amulet. I'm hoping it will keep you safe. At least that's what I've been wishing and willing it to do. Mizumi. I'm so glad I was able to give it to you. I've been so busy lately. Getting ready to return to Canada. I... Oh yeah, you're leaving for Canada soon. Well, I gotta go home. Yeah, well, be careful. Okay. We're both leaving Japan. I wish we had more time. He comes from a far eastern land, across the ocean. A young man who has yet to realize his own potential. This potential is a power that can both destroy him, as well as ensure his will is realized. Perhaps he will achieve the balance that will mark him a man of courage. The path he must traverse is fraught with adversity and filled with expectations. I await whilst praying for the realization of this destiny predetermined since ancient times. A pitch black night unfolds with morning star as its only light. And thus, the saga begins.